everyone, it's Mekasan here. All right, and like a few, like an hour or so or whatever ago, we finally got the official story reveal trailer for Respawn's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order game. Now, Respawn, for those of you who somehow don't know, which I doubt it, they're the ones who've made the Titanfall game, and that includes Apex Legends, which is currently the big thing in the Battle Royale in the Battle Royale uh, genre here. People are loving that, and it's a testament that you don't need goddamn microtransactions for shit. But anyhow, yeah, this store, this game, it was teased at in the last E3 in the most just poof, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell was this bullshit? Kind of like, hey, we're making a Star Wars game. I respawn. EA, you're terrible. But anyhow, there have been speculation on this game. Fan speculation, of course. But one of my favorites here is that this is going to tell what happened to Barris Offy. Because this is set like shortly after Order 66. I mean, yeah, the Jedi Temple was all raided, but there are still plenty of Jedi out there and. They're still on the loose. So that is that close. Like, it's only been, I don't know, not even a week or so since the Empire, since Order 66. I don't know anything yet, but yes, Barris of Fee is one of the things here where we know in the Clone Wars, she went to jail because of the crime she committed and like bombing and everything. But, and her reasoning for that is that she became disillusioned with the Jedi Order and the Republic as a whole. And in the end, even though she went about it the wrong way, she was right. She was right. The, everything she's the Jedi lost their way. The Republic was a, it was a critical patient on life support, but nearing the end of its life, it's not life support, and just literally just almost death, almost dead. It was like on death's door. The Jedi were gone. It didn't help the fact that they built their goddamn Jedi temple right on top of a Sith shrine. There's a real, there was a reason for that, of course, people. You can look it up. Long story short, their plan for that, it backfired, and in the end, it wound up weakening them from within. But yeah, so Barris, she went, she, so yeah, the, one of the theories is that she'll be recruited as an Inquisitor. However, uh, Dave Filoni has gone off and said that despite the fact that yeah, she, Barris, like, decided, decided to forego stop being a Jedi. She didn't fall to the dark side. Well, not entirely. She would not become a Sith. I mean, every, just because she understood the fact that the Jedi are, they're no more. They're not peacekeeper anymore. They're just warriors, soldiers, and the Republic is, was doomed to fail. She's not going to just go to the dark side and become a part of the Sith. However, my theory in that is, what other choice does she have? I believe that she would join up with the Inquisitors because it would give her the best chance of getting the hell out of there. So, much like what Ahsoka did to fake her death and go years upon years with the likes of Darth Vader and Palpatine thinking she was dead... Well, why can't she do it as well? She fakes her own death, and voila, everyone thinks that Barry Sophie is dead, and she goes off into hiding. And who knows? Who knows what she can do? I mean, hey, if Ahsoka could go on, go on for years doing that, I see no reason why Barris couldn't. And keep in mind, Ahsoka has a, has a much stronger connection with Darth Vader. All right, so let's see the reveal trailer and see what this game really is about. All right, the animation, nice, nice. It's, it's Doesn't always like this. It's like the similar. It uh, looks like feels like the similar engine to what they used in um. There are three rules in, to survive. In uh, Titanfall two, but no, or, or you know, more like the the animation engine, like from or, from the Castle game thirteen thirteen. Uh, don't stand out. Except the past. Is that an old Clone Wars base. Oh wow, yeah, all the aliens. No one. Galaxy's 
Venator class. Don't. Whatever you do, don't reach. No, don't, don't, don't. Ooh, Inquisitor. Did I have fallen? Don't stand out. The Empire rises. Accept the past. Execute order 66. I like that. Like, did he stay, stay, in, one, stay in place? Jedi. <laughs> Alright, so I, I feel that this game could have right coming November 15th. Okay. I feel this game could possibly have like a multiple choice scenarios. Like you can like in that scene where his uh partner was falling to for falling down and being eaten by the Sarlacc, something like that. By the way, I love the scene where they're where they're literally like scrapping an old Venator class Star Destroyer. It's like, yeah, you recycle. <laughs> or maybe just melt it down so no one can use it. But yeah, I like that scene here. Like that scene where it falls down. It's like, I could, it's like, I'm thinking, could I have a choice in that regard? Like, I could let him just fall and be eaten or use the force and save him. And that will have consequences. Like, yeah, br like, uh, Branching and narratives and stuff like that. That's that's what I'm getting at here. And of course, naturally, we saw a scene where he was running along the wall here, obviously, because it's Star Wars, and they're using a, they're using a similar engine or mechanics as Titanfall. And it makes sense here that that they use uh, Titanfall, Titanfall mechanics for this game here, especially with the wall running and everything like that, and force powers. And wow, okay, we, so that's... Oh, God. <laughs> Trust no one, just... Trust in the Force. No. All right. Here's my counterpoint to that. Wh why that's a dumb idea. Where was the Force to warn you about Order sixty six? About where was the Force to tell to warn you that Palpatine, who you know chancellor and has been in your temple in the jedi temple a number of times to tell you bad guy your worst enemy dark side user sith practitioner right here where was the force to tell you that that goddamn sith temple underneath your very feet under under your feet in the temple your jedi is there where was the force uh trust in the force the force okay from everything i've seen so far and i can i i can know one thing for certain about the force that the jedi just don't even quite get the force takes no sides it does not play favorites hell in the cartoons the rebels cartoon they established like bedu even said to Kane at one point, like when they were invading Rebel Chopper Base, the Imperials, he said, perhaps is the will of the Force for the Jedi to become extinct. There you go. Maybe it is. Maybe it ain't. Who can say? All I know is that the Force, it does not pick one side. So, don't trust it. You're gonna, you're gonna like to say a force, the force, a strong ally. It is. No, it ain't. It's not your ally. It's not. Neither is your. Neither is it your enemy. It's pretty much neutral, if any, if that at all. Oh damn! Sorry. 
Okay, so yeah, we got the new the Jedi here. He's a character, and we have this certain Sith Inquisitor here. Well, at least I th think it's an Inquisitor. Oddly enough, no, it, it's she. Uh, no, this this is a different guy. Using an electro staff from the Magna Guards too. However, we saw him like be able to hold his ground like that. See, um, I don't know what kind of training this guy had, but any a force push if he was really trying should have thrown him off his feet. But that guy managed to keep his managed to keep his ground and barely move in it and just move like an inch or two. Yeah, this one right here. By her figure, by the figure, I say female. And I like the way she has her, the way she has her hand on the screen, on the window, makes me think she's trying to use Shatterpoint, which is what Mace Windu could do. I, this could this could actually be Barris Alfi, maybe. I mean, I'm I'm hoping here because we I want to know what happened to Barris. We know what happened to her master, like Lumin, Master Luminara. So why not have why not just show what happened to Barris? Uh, on that, the animation is great. This is all this is actually all pre-rendered stuff. It's nice to look at. I just. I really, really hope we see some new planets, actually. I haven't uh, played the Battlefront 2 yet. Uh, how much is it right now in the uh, in the stores here? Because at this point, I, I'm okay with buying that game for 20 bucks, And I'm just going to play a single-player story, of course. So, yeah, I mean, they, so, yeah, I, I hope to see some brand new planets, maybe, no, 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 no return to some old favorites, okay, just all brand new planets, come on, there is, there are millions upon millions of planets in the Star Wars galaxy, and we keep going back to, like, Coruscant, Tatooine, uh, pff, huh, I don't want to go back there, okay? Okay, so yeah, everyone, uh, thank you all for watching. Mm, I'm interested. I am interested. This was a nice story story trailer here, just telling me what's going on here. I'm curious to see what's the uh, story behind this kid here. He uh, looks like... Okay, he looks like a knight. He's clearly a knight. I don't see the, I don't see the Padawan braids, although he could have could have been cut off himself to... Uh, rather hide, or he could have been a recently promoted Jedi Knight before Order 66 happened. Either way, yeah, I'd like to see where this goes. So, everyone, thank you all for watching. Um, yeah, yeah, a very nice story reveal trailer. It, it pretty much got the... Uh, it told everything. It's just a Jedi trying to stay on the run, trying to survive one step ahead of the Empire so that he can live to see another day. So yeah, comment down below what you all thought, like and subscribe for more videos. Till next one, this is Mekasan, logging out.